Landon. My name is Kayla. And welcome to LKTV. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on so y'all can be part of the LK squad. Squad. Period. So y'all, today I had made us a homemade keto brownie, as y'all can see. And now I tried to do ice cream, but it looked like whipped cream, y'all. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, and we're gonna be doing a mental health check in, y'all. You know, like we said, we was gonna do once one a month. So how you feeling? I'm good. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Let me tell you about this ice cream real quick. Eat that. You look at no, eat it by itself, like a big glob of it by itself. It by itself. It's good. It's all right. It's like whipped cream. Um, yeah, it, it do, but it's like, I don't know. It just needs to freeze more, I guess. Yeah. This brownie tastes like straight chocolate. Let me see. Fudge. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm
Um, but I'm doing okay. Uh, kind of like trying to get my head out of this stall, this weight stall I'm in. I don't. How long have I been in this stall? About two weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been in this stall for about two, about two, three weeks, and it's really been taking a toll on my mental. Cause I mean, I'm doing everything right, you know, everything I'm supposed to, but um, I feel like I'm not. So um, I kind of been little hard on myself so uh kind of like mm, I should go on liquid diets or you know trying to switch my eating habits up which even though I eat healthy but mm-hmm. it's kind of like <coughs> you know what I'm saying like it's kind of like hmm am, am I at a stall because this is what I need to be like yes with weight loss surgery you hit stalls but I just feel like I'm probably doing something wrong but what you think I don't think you're doing nothing wrong. I think having stalls is good because I don't think you should just be constantly losing weight, like having your body in that mode 24-7, you know? Yeah. I don't think that's like what you would call healthy, just like losing, losing, mm-hmm. losing, losing, mm-hmm. losing. I feel like you need to have like a, a period where it's like, like this, and then, then like that again, then like, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't think you should just be like... Yeah, because I had this stall like, when I was in the 50s, yeah. and I had this stall for like how long? Almost a month? Yeah. And then I finally started back. Because I feel like if you just, like, lose, like, keep losing and losing and losing, I feel like you're not going to feel well. Yeah. You know, but it's also a mental thing because when you, like, when you have been losing like that and then all of a sudden you stop losing and you're like, dang, what am I doing wrong? Um, and you just, like, honestly start beating yourself up. Mm-hmm. And i just been trying to get out of that wave, trying to um, isolate myself with other stuff, like, doing stuff like this. Which was definitely a fail. But it's okay, y'all, because we're going to do a cooking video What for y'all on Sunday. We're going to make keto onion rings, keto fried pickles. You want to try the modular sticks? We're going to just have a fried day? Yeah. And what are we going <laughs> to eat with it? I don't know. I think, are we doing burgers? Oh, yeah. We can do burgers, y'all. So, so they say basically what we're going to be making. So, basically, we're going to be making, like, three appetizers <laughs> and with some burgers. And we just going to come and talk to y'all. Give us some ideas what y'all want us want us to talk about on Sunday. Leave them in the comments. We do want to do a Q and A, but ain't nobody leaving questions, so we just patiently waiting. I y'all mean, gonna be fired for that, right? We got 190 subscribers, so if each one of y'all leave a question, we'll be able to try to run through, like run through them. Probably be about a 15 minute video, but I know a lot of our subscribers are family and friends, and we got a couple people we don't know. But I know y'all don't know everything about us. Like, I see we had a lot of uh, views on the sex video. Y'all can ask us some more stuff. Like, don't be scared. We open books. Speaking of sex, mm-hmm. how you feeling? Like, okay, y'all. So we had like we had a conversation when I was at work, and I was just kind of saying that like we need to spice things up because I feel like we're being stagnant and we're like so young, and I don't want to get bored, and I don't want to get bored, you know. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel about that conversation? Because we ain't talked about it since. I mean, I feel like I understand we're young and stuff, but we also, like I told you, we also have to, like, explore each other. Mm-hmm. And even with us, like, being newly married and stuff, I I personally don't think that we should, like, try. Like, the sex club was cool, you know, but I feel like that should just be it. Like, you know, I feel like we shouldn't try to, like, explore with other people <clears throat> or do, like, crazy stuff with other people, you mm-hmm. know. Like, we can just do stuff with each other. Like, I really want to get our passports and go, like, out of the country and do stuff, you know? And go places and just, like, and explore, like, our sex life in that aspect. Yeah. I don't know, though. Like, I kind of want us to just, like, well, right now, I'm not going to lie. I want us to, like, focus, like, just here at home. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, as far as exploring each other, I'm not saying that we do, we go out of, go to Dubai next week no i'm saying like as time progresses and then possibly if we both come to that understanding that hmm we are in tune with each other maybe we can add somebody you know in the bedroom you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. um but like right now i just definitely don't feel like that's a good idea because i feel like we both are still learning each other we did also got married what two months three months after we met mm-hmm. you know so we kind of don't know each other really triggers or like with each other like um for instance like i i get jealous on if a dude is interested in you or you know 
and I feel like, and I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know, like you already know, like I don't know that this person is interested in you and it's kind of like they're going behind my back type thing, mm -hmm. especially if they're a friend. Um, so I feel, I get jealous. I don't want to <laughs> say jealous, like I feel uncomfortable with that. I know so, the situation you're talking about now. I'm like, oh Yeah, my gosh. but you know, I feel a little uncomfortable with that because I have the mindset that I gave you that, um, I gave you that, I gave that person that leeway to talk to you, mm -hmm. you know, and you kind of like just went over my head to ask for something, you know. I'm over it now, but that's, that's one thing that we work on as a couple to like, um, what's that word, um, alleviate stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Because if we have that conversation, like we already had together and when somebody like somebody does something like that like and like you told me but that wouldn't even had the wouldn't even came about and it wouldn't even been as how it unraveled because we would have set that boundary you know mm -hmm. i feel like us as a couple a married couple we are fetishized and also us being part like i told you part of the lgbt community and me being trans it's like literally everybody want a piece of us and it's aggravating because we really just want friends mm -hmm. um we really do and that's why we do these this one like one of these videos every month because so we can tell y'all how we feel because it's very stressful out here like just having friends just genuinely that are not interested in us sexually mm -hmm. um yeah like that's really how i feel about that like i understand you just talking to me because you wanted just to like see where i was with that but i honestly don't think that it's like a good idea that um i feel like we just spice it up with each other you know mm -hmm. and like kind of find what like what triggers each other because we we like tend to um go off on each other about mm -hmm. certain stuff when we can honestly just try to be like okay like why did you like get outraged instead of like the other person get outraged with the other you know mm -hmm. we do that a lot and we do do that I tend to like try my best not to but it's kind of hard to express myself and I think it's hard for you to express yourself so you kind of like um lash out just like me like we're both the only child so I think we don't understand how to communicate effectively because yeah. growing up we kind of didn't get that um what's the word that luxury to communicate with our like siblings mm -hmm. we had to communicate with our parents and friends and the friends that we did have they was like high school like school friends you know Mm -hmm. We didn't have nobody in house with us that we could like communicate, and even if it did turn bad, we kind of knew that we communicated, and that was an effective way. Yeah. So now in our mirrors, we're trying to find effective ways to communicate with with each other, without kind of um, what's the word? Without having the other one feel like uh, they're trying to like trigger them. Yeah. I think that's like. Yeah, we yeah we we were trying to work through that, but Lord. Yeah. Well, we be button heads. But, like, we butt heads and then we come, like, right back together. But it's just, like, I don't want us to be button heads, like, 24-7, mm -hmm. though. Yeah. I feel like, especially the conversation we had about, like, you vaping and stuff, I think, like, that, like you said, it did go, like, overboard. But I feel like at that moment, I was not getting listened to. And you felt like you wasn't getting listened to because you was depressed where you are depressed, you know? Mm -hmm. And you felt like that was a way to, um, get that like you know to feel better mm -hmm. and I feel like you could just talk to me or you know write about it or walk it like walk it out you know mm -hmm. or listen to music something like that and I feel like I wasn't the safe haven for you um like you know in that moment because you didn't come to me you wanted to be yeah did That's that like hurt your feelings yeah it hurt my feelings so instead of me saying this how I feel I got upset and I just lashed out mm -hmm. I think a lot of times when we do get into it it's because we are hurting each other's feelings mm -hmm. um, and we don't feel like we're getting hurt yeah and we kind of need to work on that mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people been saying marriage counselor which I don't mind but I feel like a mar like I'm be honest with you I feel like a marriage counselor would not understand I feel like a marriage counselor would not understand where we're coming from um, because it's kind of hard to explain if you're not, like, here at 25 eight. Yeah. Because we be over here chilling. Like, we be chilling we and be then, chilling. like, and then, like, I'll be like, wait, can you do this? Or vice versa. And then we kind of just, like, go off on each other. So. Yeah. And it, and we literally be chilling. We didn't have no issues. 
So y'all put in the comments if y'all married in a long term relationship, been with somebody for thirty years, thirteen years, whatever. Tell us like what y'all think we should possibly do. Like, you know, because a lot of times we get into it, I'll like leave or I'll walk off. Um or like I'll just get upset. I just get upset and it just um it just becomes like very uh, what's that word? What's that word? Uh, it just it just makes her feel like I'm abandoning her, and that's not that. I just don't know how to like stay in the situation, so I feel like it's better to walk off. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like used to like some toxic shit. So I'm like I'm used to a person like saying it like the way you like yell it out, argue it out, or whatever for a little bit, and then like we be cool. But then like with you, like when you like you leave, and I'm just like. Which is fuck me, huh? Like, yeah. <laughs> just, that's how but I be that's, in the that's moment. Like, that's my way to, like, not say something that I don't want to say, you know? Mm -hmm. And like you said, like, you kind of used to talk to stuff. Like, y'all just screaming and hollering and saying, fuck you, go to hell, hope you die. Like, you know, like seriously. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm serious, though. Like, that, like it goes to that extreme. Yeah. Like, fuck your mom, fuck your daddy, hope they kill themselves. You know, like, it gets to that extreme. Seriously. And then, like, later on, you fine. And, and, but in my mind, I'm like, dang, you really want my mom to kill herself? Like, you know? Yeah. And now I don't trust you. Yeah. And don't trust you around my mama neither. Like, you know? Because, bitch, you gonna kill my mama. By the like, way, I ain't never said no shit like that. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> like, that, that's what I feel like would lead to. Because I would say some very, like, just like when we had the argument with, um, oh, dude, before I left, like, with the situation, I was like, well, I'll, I'll be with somebody that's a nurse. Like, that hurt you really, really bad. And, like, I apologize about it. But I that's why I had to leave because I knew if I would have stayed and, like, then calm down. Like, you see, I left and I came back and I was calm. Yeah. Because if I wouldn't have did that, like, I would have said some even more hurtful stuff. Like, you know. And yeah. even with the other argument, I, we, I stayed in it and I told you to get the hell out. So, it's just, like, I have to leave. Yeah. Then even this last one, you started calling me an addict, though, and then, like, mocking me. That shit, like, I really wanted to, like, come out here and, like, just slap the shit out of you. But I'm like, I'll sit in it. I'll, I'll sit here and I'll listen to you call me a fucking addict. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, leaving is better for me. Yeah. And I think we both have to get in that common ground. Like, okay, when he walks off, he's doing it for us. Because if I stay in it, I'm t like, I, I say the most, you know? Yeah. And I try my best to... Like express myself, but if it, especially when I don't feel like I'm getting heard, and I mm -hmm. feel like you're like just have your own, your mind already set up, mm -hmm. I don't want to deal with you. you yeah, know? and I'm gonna say something hurtful and like that make you listen to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know, that makes sense. That's why I always say cause and effect. When yeah. I, you know, so yeah, yep, yeah. So make sure y'all put it in the comments. <laughs> also, how y'all feeling? How are y'all yeah. feeling? Yeah, this how is a mental feeling? check. For everybody mental health check my bad can't talk yeah. but yeah how y'all feeling like yeah put them in the comments i know this video a little long because we just kind of like went a little bit more went on a whole tangent <laughs> yeah went a little bit more on how we feeling and how we've been feeling um because we want to be vulnerable with you guys and we're also vulnerable with each other mm -hmm. and we just want to take y'all on the journey with us you know yeah. um because even though we like new youtube new youtubers per se we want y'all to be very, what's the word, um, have a very open relationship with us because I feel like a lot of YouTubers that we watch, I'm not saying all of them, but they are very, like, they show y'all what they want to show y'all. I'm not saying we're going to show y'all everything, like, us, like, uh, putting on our clothes and, like, <laughs> you know, like, the most craziest stuff, but we want to show y'all, like, that marriage is hard. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, we don't want to show y'all, oh, we love each other every day, all day. No. We never argue. Yeah. Like, we want to be honest because people, of course, being married is a flex. It is. Mm -hmm. But you got to also put the work in, a lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, because it's easy to leave. It is. It's easy to leave, but it's even harder to stay. Right? And. Period. Snaps for that one. <laughs> <laughs> because you got to think about it. You done went. You done left, and now you got to find your person again. Mm -hmm. And who to say your person is out there? Yeah, that's my fear. I'm like, I I can't go nowhere because I feel like you're it. You're it. <laughs> I'm not looking no more. Yeah. Same here. She be stressing me out, but I, um, especially for real. I be stressing you out. You be stressing me out, too, so it's okay. 
especially with the situation that happened like i i still you know freak out that's why a lot of stuff that you'd be wanting to do and like that could, that could i feel like it possibly affect your health that's probably why i like slash out so bad mm -hmm. um and i'm like we don't know you know mm -hmm. i think that'd be the main thing we don't know mm -hmm. so it tend to bother me because i'm like if we don't know why hinder yourself more you yeah know? Um, that makes sense. I know YOLO, like, you only live once. I get that. But I don't, like, I literally in that moment, I had the mindset, like, dang, like, if this, if my person gone, like, my person not here tomorrow, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. Like, that's how I really felt. Because I'm like, I, I kind of was, like, stuck. You know, it was, I kind of really felt like in that moment, like, when my dad passed, I felt the same way. Like, I was really feeling like I was going to be by myself again. And it like scared me, and that's kind of why I um, got in the mindset that I'm in now. Because I'm like, if you're not here, what am I gonna do? I mean, I got a mom and grandma, but I don't have like I didn't have my I don't have my person, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I I didn't have my mom and grandma my whole life, but it's not the same. Not the same kind of relationship where I can just talk. Yeah and uh, express myself without being judged, you know? Mm -hmm. And I understand, like, my mom watched this video, I understand she'll be like, well, you can talk to me and I, and I won't judge you, but it be times where I feel like I'm not getting listened to, you know? Yeah. And that's not her fault. She also has to learn that listening to somebody does not always harbor a response. And I think a lot of people gotta learn that, especially in our community. Do not listen to respond. Yeah, sometimes you just have to listen to listen, you know? You can always, mm-hmm, yeah, I get it, you know? Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I learned also, when you have friends that are in relationships, that are are just single, and just having to come, like, venting to you, you responding to them and they doing the direct opposite does not mean that they're not your friend. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Like, we could easily, like, right now, a friend could call us right now. Like, one of my frat brothers could call me and be like, oh, I'm so tired of this bitch. Blah, 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 blah. I'm about to leave this hoe. You know, and I'm like, well, leave her. You know? Mm -hmm. Next day, y'all in love. That hugged don't mean up. that that's... Yeah. <laughs> like, hugged up and stuff. That don't mean that that's not my brother. Right. And that's where you gotta listen to listen, not listen to respond. Because mm -hmm. sometimes people call you, they not calling you for an answer. Mm -hmm. They're just calling you just to talk. Just, yeah. to, just to be heard I know my dad is like that like he'll call and he'll want to have like a hour long conversation and I'm not giving that first of all I'm not, grown, I'm not giving that grown ass old ass man no advice cause he done been through some trenches yeah. so he know a lot more than me but he just calls and he just wants to like talk about it and I'll be like on the phone like I'll be listening I'll be doing some other stuff probably cleaning the kitchen or something but I'll be listening to him though Yeah, it's and that's the thing like we are we, me and my wife are they safe haven for our parents and it's sad because we didn't we not kind of we don't feel like we're the safe haven for them like to them that makes sense like i honestly feel like both of us i know like you could be a safe haven like your dad could be a safe haven for you in some instances but a lot of stuff you don't feel comfortable talking to him about mm -hmm. and i feel like the vice versa for me like i don't feel comfortable talking to my mama about certain stuff yeah and it's just also the way we grew up like because we always both of us always had to be on guard our mm -hmm. whole life like we have so much similarities growing up that is scary like <laughs> that's probably what's wrong with us now <laughs> yeah why we so on guard now we can just relax yeah like i i be trying to get in the mindset like she got me i got her we good you know mm -hmm. but it's hard because all you know is guard yeah all you know is tomorrow this bitch might not want to fuck with me and now you know <laughs> that's like, how i y'all like oh so this man ain't gonna love me next week but he loved me this week man fuck this shit like yeah. that's really how it be but so we really just gotta relax mm -hmm. but it sounds easier said than done like it's so hard it is hard to just like allow somebody just to like wholeheartedly love you and just care for you it's hard especially uh, our life wasn't easy that's why we tell y'all ask us questions everything y'all want to know like anything we mad open we do want i do want us to do a video about us just like basically shadow working on youtube oh y'all i'm nervous uh. they was very nervous like i think because we wanted to write a book but i think an open diary on youtube could possibly reach a lot of people mm -hmm. um that's why we tell y'all share our videos and stuff because we talk about everything on here and i feel like that video 
will be a long one. We'll probably have to cut it in two. I talk, then you do a video. Like, I do a video, you do a video. Yeah. Um, like, it'd be like a. And then we we'll probably do, thing. yeah, we we'll probably do one together and kind of like, you know, mm-hmm. how we, how we feel now. Yeah. You know, as we, as we like both have found each other in, you know, because I feel like we found each other in, at a weird time. Mm-hmm. I'm be honest with you because I had just had our relationship. He was doing what you was doing, you know. I wasn't even worried about a relationship, honestly. I yeah. was out here doing what I was doing. And when we found each other, she'll tell you like she wasn't trying to do nothing, and I wasn't trying to do nothing. And then, and then we met. I was like, oh, I like this motherfucker. Like I literally like her. Right, the first card. I was just staring like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, I guess I like him. Yeah. Then the next day, I was like, I love him. Oh, my God. Oh. And I was like, mm-mm, you tripping, you tripping. Yeah. Then I was like, I do, though. I, I do, though. I need that in my life. Mm-hmm. This yeah. mine. <laughs> yeah. And we deal, with, we deal with a lot in that first, like, what, couple months of our relationship. Mm-hmm. And, like, even after the two things we dealt with, we still decided, yeah, we need to be with each other because we like had went through a lot at the beginning so mm-hmm. some craziness but yeah we want y'all to make sure y'all like comment subscribe again and we love y'all so much make sure y'all share the video and leave some comments down below and we out peace, peace.